if you won't stand with me, then I won't stand with you. I'm not going to defend people I disagree with when they won't defend me and my tire. I don't know about you folks, but I will always defend my lady's tire from any nefarious ne'er-do-well that dares to threaten it. Don't you ever talk to Laura or her tire ever again. Good old, good old Laura Loomer. You know, I didn't think it was possible to top this. I did not think there was another summit she could climb to to make a bigger ass out of herself on the internet. I was wrong. This incident with her and her tire I ended up covering in a Rebel Media video I did about a month back, just, just briefly touching on it as it was a, a smaller part of a larger story. But today, we're talking about Laura. So allow me to fill in some of the details for you if you happen to miss this taking place. Laura took to Twitter to inform people that the evil Antifa activists had located her and they had taken revenge against her conservative values by slashing her tires. They didn't uh, knock out any windows, they didn't burn the Jeep, they didn't carve anything into it. There was no note left. Nobody saying, not even your bicycles are safe, Laura, Antifa has arrived. Of course, rather than gaining sympathy and getting the outpouring of condolences from everybody weeping over the loss of her beautiful tires, she started to get pushback pretty much immediately, with people chiming in to say, that doesn't look like a slash mark to me. It looks like your tires are rotted, or it looks like you drove it into a curb. Well, as you can imagine, Aunt Laura didn't take that too well. She started posting a bunch of documents from the towing company and from the garage that she took it to, saying that this was clearly an Antifa-motivated knife attack. Of course, that, uh, that kind of blew up in her face when somebody took the effort to contact the towing company and the garage she brought the car to. In fact, if you look at the forms that she posted on her Twitter account, they're actually customer survey forms. She wrote that in herself. There's, there's a whole bunch of funny inconsistencies with these pictures. The dates are wrong. It's the same handwriting, even though it's two different companies. There's no billing charge listed anywhere on the document. It's amateur hour. I mean, it got to the point where even the Michelin man, the fucking Michelin man was talking shit about Laura Loomer. People were writing articles about this, laughing at how stupid she is. Somebody even went to the effort of making a fake GoFundMe page to mock her and her stupid tire story with a goal, a reasonable goal, of $2,000 to replace that, that tire that she needed to get replaced. Now, what makes the GoFundMe page so goddamn entertaining is it's a play off something that happened even earlier in regards to her disrupting a play that took place. You may remember this, you may not, but Laura Loomer is the one that went up and interrupted Shakespeare in the Park. Freedom! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to pause. We're going to pause. Security. Security, please. And so what happens immediately following this? Well, her and Jack hold a press conference where they're talking about the hashtag and the need to raise money. Everybody who's been tweeting about the video, sharing the video, um, talking about it, raising money for me, um, sharing the free Laura hashtag. I really appreciate it. I love all of you guys. <laughs> you guys are great. And so a We Searcher page is put up that raises like thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000. And of course, good old Ezra at Rebel Media needs to put a page up immediately too to get direct donations. So Laura Loomer is raking in the cash for those legal fees because she got arrested for interrupting a play. And Laura is off to the races, talking about this all over social media. There's a hashtag dedicated to it. The Rebel Media is backing her up, trying to raise even more revenue for her. But within a few days, people start to voice their concerns about this, seeing it as a PR stunt, as a way to garner attention, attention whoring to build up her name and her brand. Even more than that, multiple sites come out with articles talking about how the Defense Fund, the website that was set up by the Rebel Media, was set up prior to her ever going to Shakespeare in the Park. Let me say that again so you get this. They had donation pages set up ready to roll before she ever even did this before she knew the reaction she would get. Now, a lot of this fits with Ezra's MO. Ezra is the guy that runs the Rebel Media. I covered this in the video I talked about earlier. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go watch it. Both of these things, the tire attention whoring and the Shakespeare in the Park money grab, make Laura look bad. They're, they're embarrassing. She got a lot of shit over both of them. And as I had said at the start of the video, I didn't think she could top the tire thing. I really thought that was the end-all be-all for her, that there was nowhere else to go. That was until Cassandra Fairbanks tweeted out, Laura thinks that this is over her hitting on someone I dated. That's false. That was the excuse I used to be able to tell her to fuck off. She is Harvey Weinstein with a vag, though. Between people she's blackmailing and the person she raped, my issues with her are hardly the worst. 
That goes a little beyond lying about a deflated tire and setting up a PR stunt to milk idiots for their money. Now, now we've gotten to actual criminal activity, blackmailing people, and sexual assaults. A Harvey Weinstein with a vag. This set off a bit of a firestorm for a few days on social media between Laura Loomer, Cassandra Fairbanks, and Lauren Southern. Just looking at the interactions between the groups of people, you can see there's no love loss uh, between these individuals. Sam Heidenstein had tweeted out, Why would Cassandra Fairbanks accuse Laura Loomer of rape? Serious accusations that cannot be deleted or ignored. To which uh, Laura responded, Yes, very serious indeed, which is why she will be hearing from my lawyer. Based on reports that you and I both know exist, I have a feeling Cass will be just fine. And what reports are those, Lauren? You will also be named in my lawsuit. For the sake of all the people you're blackmailing right now, I'm seriously considering doing a video. Remember when Lauren Southern said, there is no rape culture in the West. Now she's falsely accusing me of rape. Life comes at you fast. False accusations? Who would do such an awful thing? Lauren Southern has decided to falsely accuse me of rape, along with Cassandra Fairbanks. This will be dealt with in court. Then make a video, you vile Canadian cunt. I will see you and Cassandra Fairbanks in court for the false rape accusations you are spewing. It is getting heated between these three individuals talking about the accusations leveled against Laura Loomer. But uh, has anybody come forward? Has anybody shown evidence that this is going on, that there's some kind of weird behavior coming from Laura Loomer, that she sexually harasses people, that she stalks them, that she blackmails them or threatens them? It, has any of that come out? Well, believe it or not, yes it has. Thanks to Nick Monroe, a lot of the information is actually up and viewable. Not just screenshots of conversations she's had, but actual video testimony. Video testimony of people who say they have been harassed by Laura Loomer. I'll have a link to both Nick's Twitter and YouTube account. He did a, a really good job, too, when it came to Chris King, tracking down information and trying to suss out what was happening. Uh, really, really good work. And he did a great job with this, too, getting information out for people to, to look at. Uh, so definitely check him out if you get a chance to. Now, this video is put up by a man named Gavin, who encountered Laura Loomer, and, well, I'm, I'm going to let him relate his story. We're, we're going to listen to what Gavin has to say and see if it matches up to the behavior that they're describing. Hi, my name is Gavin Wax. I'm here to talk about the uh, serial predator Laura Loomer. Uh, I met with her um, and it went from a professional meeting and it slowly descended into this really weird, awkward and bizarre um, date. Uh, she was trying to make it into a date and I sort of realized this and I cut it short. The week or weeks thereafter, I was getting dozens and dozens of just texts unsolicited, calls unsolicited. Um, they were just getting more and more strange by the day. I started to ignore her um, and I started to realize she was probably stalking me. Um, she was adding, I learned that she was adding friends on Facebook uh, of mine that had never met her and was adding my family on Facebook. I uh, was commenting on photos, writing really weird things. I had to delete them and um, it just got really out of hand. I would start getting calls randomly from restricted numbers answer hang up answer hang up all the time so here's gavin meeting laura loomer and they're having a professional meeting because they have business interests that align and already he's getting a weird vibe from her he's getting a very bizarre feeling that this isn't just work related she wants more from it so he cuts it short and then after cutting it short he starts to get a shit ton of text messages and weird phone calls and then finds out that she's stalking all these social media pages of people uh that know him family members but it, it just it goes on from there. It gets weirder and weirder. One day, I was at work towards the end of the day, uh, almost six o'clock. Get a call from the front desk. Said there's a guest here for Gavin. Um, her name was Laura. And can we let them up? And I, we said no. Don't let her up. Uh, she's not. She hasn't been invited. She's not allowed to come into the office. I thought she was absolutely insane by this point. So I had to leave through an emergency exit and leave out like a side street. It was insane. So now after all the creepy phone calls and text messages and just weird behavior, trying to ignore and trying to get on with his fucking life, she's showing up at his place of work and trying to get in. He had to flee the building through a fucking side exit because as he described it, Laura Loomer, the serial predator, was waiting out there. He's like a fucking gazelle and she's a lion on the savannah looking to hunt fresh meat. That's, that's Laura Loomer for you. I knew she found out where I lived because she started sending me my address via text at this point. Um, this was right after she found out where I worked, the exact address that is. She would go to all these other Republican events in the city, like young Republican events and stuff like that, and she would just approach friends of mine, that, or not even friends, like acquaintances, and interrogate them and just demand to know where I was, who I was with, where I was going. Um, she would tell them that, like, we went on all these dates and, like, 
um, all these ridiculous things that just never happened. And I had literally met her at this point, or like even encountered her like maybe three times. How fucking creepy and ominous is that? To start sending people information that you know where they live and work, and you know who their family members are. That you're showing up and telling acquaintances of theirs that you're in a relationship you're not actually in. Uh, then she basically started messaging me, um, you know, why am I ignoring you, why am I ignoring you? Um, and if you don't stop, I'm going to expose you for what you are, you're a Nazi, all this other stuff. And she knows I'm Jewish, um, she said she would post my address and all my personal information to her followers and all this other stuff. Then she would also just start telling all people I knew at these events that I was gay because I wasn't interested in her. You'd better watch it, buddy. If you don't go on a date with me, if you don't get down there and sniff Laura Loomer's Dirty Bloomers, I'm going to dox your ass, tell people you're a gay Nazi, and ruin you. That, uh, that seems to line up with the notion of blackmail, doesn't it? That seems to line up really, really well with the idea that if you don't do what I want, I'm going to make you suffer, so you'd better just do it. But it's not just video testimony. There are tons of screen grabs of conversations that Laura Loomer has had with different people related to this kind of fucking weird behavior. Remember the work story, how she showed up there and was waiting to get in, and he was like, that's, that's kind of fucking bizarre. Uh, read, read this shit. How do you know where and when he works? Did you just Google it? And are you actually there? Yeah, I'm there waiting for our date. Are you really there? Yes. I said I don't have any plans. Hey, I'm downstairs in the lobby at. This is insane. Did you tell her where I work? Bro, I'm trying to help you get a job and you're sending this lunatic to my job. I'm leaving to go get drinks and I can't even leave the building. I saw you at the protest and tried to talk to you and you walked right by me. Super rude. When? The Milo Pam protest. I walked towards you and waved and said hi, and you kept on walking with your friend. <laughs> Laura, take the fucking hint. On the street? Yeah. Question mark. Miller and I are dating now. Hey, I'm downstairs in the lobby. <laughs> Gavin didn't say hi last night and rolled his eyes at me when he saw me. I think he's just jealous I was in VIP and he wasn't. He was trying to cut the line and they sent him to the back. Then they saw me and pushed me to the front and made me. VIP. Did you seriously delete my comment to not offend your mother? At least our kids will have blonde hair. So when do I get to meet her? Our babies will be Aryan Jews. No wonder why you're cute, though. Your mom really is a MILF. Your mom is a MILF. I was creeping on my future mother-in-law's profile. How crazy is this bitch? How fucking thirsty is she? She's stalking his fucking mother's Facebook profile and then talking about how hot she is. And then actually using a pickup line that says, Our babies will be Aryan Jews, because you know, that gets guys' dicks hard. Stalking me at work and leaving hundreds of voicemails and text messages, texting me at all hours of the day and lying to people, that's what I, that's what I look for in a good female companion. Well done. Well, well done. The crazy train has left the station, and Laura Loomer is the goddamn conductor. I, I'm just really impressed. I've never seen somebody continually get themselves into embarrassing positions like this. It's, it's a walking PR disaster. Making up stories about your tires to get sympathy, pre-planning an activist activity to try to raise money, and then creeping on guys to the point where they feel like they're being blackmailed, and having a rape accusation thrown at you, getting into a fight saying you're going to sue people, and then evidence comes out showing that, yeah, you're kind of a psychotic bitch. A little bit fucking crazy. Now, these are all allegations. These are all allegedlies. I don't know if Gavin's lying, but he's, he's put it out there. And of course, that this is all just pure fiction. If Gavin is just making it up, you can expect Laura Loomer is going to sue him. But she'd better be careful, because if there's any truth to these allegations, he's going to have evidence of it. He'll have call records of it. He'll have voicemails of it. He'll have text messages of it. Other people will be able to testify about her conversations with them in regards to the relationship that she and he had. Even more than that, if other people are affected, if Laura Loomer does this to more than just this guy, if that rape accusation is on the level, it is going to be a world of hurt for Laura Loomer. And I look forward to the disaster. I look forward to watching this tire heap catch on fucking fire, because that's what's going to happen. Lawsuits will get fired, more allegations will come out, and Laura Loomer will continue to be the living PR disaster that Laura Loomer is. I want to go home with Gavin.